Hello and welcome to the Counselor Updates and Enhancements tutorial for February 2017. Uh, we'll start here with the updates for Counselor Connect. The initial, the first update uh, gives you the opportunity to choose the referring physician or facility from a pop-up list uh, within the patient administration screen. So we'll click there. It'll show us all the available physicians. I can simply click on their name and that will add them in this case as a referring provider. Uh, as with before, if you want to simply ty start typing in the physician or facility's name, you can add them that way as well. Um, now, the second update for the patient administration screen is for the record last uh, viewed option. So this is an optional field where you can enter when was the last time that you reviewed this patient's uh, profile, you know, check their contact information, their insurance perhaps, um, just to verify the information is up to date. Uh, this also links with a widget that is on the dashboard where it'll show you any patients in your um, clinic where you haven't checked their profile or reviewed their record uh, for over 90, over 180, or one, over 365 uh, days. So this is, like I said, an optional feature you may want to start using and then use the widget to keep you on track. With both of these, if you add the information here or in the record last reviewed, you simply would click save and that will lock in that change. All right, so let's jump to the next area, which is on the schedule. Uh, when you add a new patient through the quick add feature, um, so that would be when you are creating an appointment and creating a new patient at the exact same time, there now is the option for acquiring a phone number. Uh, what I'll do is I, we won't show that in the schedule. I can just show you where in the um, administration section where you'd require that. So it would be administration, clinic list, and then we'd click the edit button off to the right of the uh, specified clinic. Now, oftentimes, if you're going to activate this, you probably would do it for all of your clinics. Um, then I'll click on advanced settings, schedule settings, and now there's an advanced settings within schedule settings where you can select that I want the phone number to be required. Okay, so you click close. Then you want to make sure you click save here. Uh, if you don't click save there, uh, the, the, the change would not take effect. All right. Um, and so by the way, so once that's in place, if someone tried to create an appointment for a brand new patient but didn't specify the phone number, they would receive a warning message letting them know and it wouldn't let them proceed. Okay. All right, now on the patient visit screen, you do have the option of changing or monitoring and changing the appointment status. So let's just bring up a patient here. There we go. And let's jump into a visit. There we go. So now in the patient visit screen, in the visit detail area, uh, as always, you could see the appointments. Uh, for this patient um, because the appointment was the same day as the visit automatically selected it uh, but now there's a field here that shows the status okay so um, you can of course change that status to whatever you wish uh, on the same screen as you likely know you can change the status for the visit um, oftentimes that what it means for a visit to be complete or an appointment to be complete will be specific to your clinic. So there's no standard definition on what each one of those means. Uh, if you have any questions about you know, how you'd use these the best, please give us a ring and we're happy to kind of talk you through or walk through that with you to find out what would be the best method for your practice. Um, just as a quick refresher, you also have that same ability within the chart notes feature to select the appointment and visit status. Uh, so that's available here. Here's the visit status, and here is the appointment status once again. Uh, this area also has the patient tags as well. Uh, with any of these, of course, once again, you would make the change, continue main screen. If you were on the uh, general information tab and you made this change, there we go, let's say this is completed, it will refresh, and then you want to make sure you go ahead and click save at the bottom of the page as well. Okay. All right, now let's look ahead here. Uh, pretty simply for uh, statements for invoices that are, I'm sorry, for uh, invoices you've created when you're generating a statement for the patient, it will now list the specific ear that's related to that device. So if you're showing a hearing instrument, it'll actually say left or right um, going forward. All right, uh, for widgets, there's now uh, an option on uh, two of the widgets to enable you to create email or send out emails right from uh, the widgets. That would be the battery list and the battery club expiration list. Uh, so let's just look at the battery, I'm sorry, the birthday list here first. So I could look at all these patients. And of course, as you know, there's different things you can do with sending out letters, printing envelopes, or you know, printing out letters, printing out envelopes, printing out postcards, drop into a spreadsheet. 
But now there's an email option as well. So you would simply bring up the list. It lets you see all the patients and their email addresses or lack thereof. So if you see anything in red, that means they do not have an email address. You notice they're automatically unchecked. You'd pick your template, insert the language, make any modifications, and then click send emails. Okay, so that enables you to very quickly identify that list of patients and get those emails sent out just as fast. All right, the last option here we won't look at directly, but um, for NOC codes, they're not otherwise classified codes, uh, you may have payers, uh, insurers that want you to have additional details included. There now is a note section available. So if you're using, for example, the HixPix code uh, V5090, uh, that is one, an example here of a non-NOC uh, code, uh, you would want to make sure and go and add additional details. Counselor will then, and that is, by the way, in the claim screen. So as you're building the claim, Counselor will then go ahead and uh, enter that those notes in the correct places in the uh, the 1500 form as well as in the 837p form, which would go off uh, to the payer to be processed. All right. So if you have any questions about any of these changes and updates, please let us know. We greatly appreciate all your feedback and always letting us, uh, you know, in on your thoughts on how the system can become better. Um, almost all of these came directly from suggestions. So keep them coming. Thank you very much for your support and uh, 